In this video, we are going to talk about how to use the STOW function. If you go to the ACT bulb guide in the calculator manual, one of the first functions mentioned is STOW. It's particularly important if you are targeting the 30 plus range on the ACT math section. The first example says, which of the following quadratic equations has the complex number one minus root negative one as a solution? Now, as we know, root negative one is the same as I, so, what we can do is type in 1 minus, now you can hit second and then the decimal point down here to make it say I. Then there's this button down here, stow, on the bottom left. You hit stow, and we can store it as any letter we want. For example, if we wanted to store it as A, we could hit alpha and A. Or if we wanted to store it as Q, we could hit alpha then Q, anything you want. For the purposes of right now, we're gonna use X because it's a little faster, because it's just one button press. So we're gonna store one minus I as X. Then, rather than have to do a lot of foiling and possible flipped negative signs that always occur when you're doing imaginary numbers, we can just start brute force typing it in. And since we're looking for the solution, we're looking for the answer to equal zero. For example, if you type in answer A, you get two X squared plus X minus four. Now this works because we just stored one minus i as x. That's clearly not zero. Let's fast forward to e, which is the actual answer, and you could type in x squared minus two x plus two. Done. No matter how good you are at math, it will not be faster to possibly foil up to five of these rather than just storing it and typing it in.